La Villa de Soledad is a dream come true. I came to this part of the country uh, many years ago. I fell in love with the area. So the dad has planted all, all of this, and um, we have a lot of gingers, and there's you know, some heliconias, which are birds of paradise out there also. A little bit of everything. We have a lot of fruit trees in the property. This over here, for example, is a rambutan. That over there is a mangosteen. We have a nances, which are very popular for Honduran. And that one's already blooming. This is a cincuya. And it has a story because it comes from Hacienda San Lucas in Copanrinas. It's a little wishing pond that Soledad built. And it's very popular with tourists, with our guests. They like to come and take their pictures here. Hello, I'm John Dupuy. And I'm a tourism entrepreneur who's been around in Honduras for the last 25 years. This property is very special because we're set up in a beautiful environment. We're right up into nature. As you can see, our property blends seamlessly with the outdoors, and it gives you an opportunity to, to enjoy the jungle, to enjoy the national parks. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to sit and relax or to have the adventure of your lifetime. We have a total of four guest rooms at La Villa de Soledad. Uh, two of them have a queen-size bed and the other two have two full-size beds. The concept basically is to make you feel at home, uh, to follow the uh, traditional architecture of Latin America, and you'll find that we've also tried to be very much in touch with nature. piece of ceramic on the door of each one of these rooms identifying them and there are animals that are local that you will find in the area. Each one of our rooms has original paintings from some of the top Honduran artists and we feel that that gives our, our bed and breakfast, our little lodge, a lot of personality. Each room is different, each room uh, has its own decor. Guest house, our bed and breakfast is open and at the service only to our guests who are staying here. And that helps make it a small, intimate area. Uh, but the important thing for us is we want you to feel like you're at home. Because in effect, you are in our home and you are our guests. And as the old saying goes, no, mi casa es tu casa. We serve food to our guests when they're interested in eating with us. Uh, many times to walk around to the other resorts to have lunch or dinner. When they do stay here, they usually find it so that I, my wife cooks awesome food. There are many different things that are a must do here. Uh, if you're into adventure, you should do the whitewater rafting. The whitewater rafting here is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and also nature. If you, like, if you like nature, there's great trails. And uh, the hike to El Bacupo waterfall is probably the most popular. And people love going there and enjoying it. Many people go to Roatan and go to Utila and they totally miss on this part of the country and we're so close. You almost have to come through La Ceiba to go to Roatan and Utila and it's really a shame that so few people come and discover this area. So if you're coming to Roatan, if you're coming to Utila, you should plan on spending at least two, even better if you spend three nights in the Cangrejal River area. Uh, La Villa de Soledad is one of several options, uh, but don't miss out on the Cangrejal River. It is certainly will be one of your highlights in your trip, not only to Honduras, but to all of Central America. We're proud to be members of the Promodillas community. We feel that it helps promote Honduras and share some of the top secrets and special places around the country. And so we're honored to be part of it and we welcome every single one of the Promodillas guests.